August 1939. Two men are hurriedly digging at the back of a German cave. Suddenly, they make a heart-stopping discovery. Tiny fragments of mammoth ivory worked by prehistoric human hands. But there's no time to investigate. Europe is about to go to war, and both men have been called up to fight. Decades pass before the fragments from the cave can finally be pieced together. And what then emerges is extraordinary. A figure of a being that cannot exist in nature. He stands upright on human legs, with human arms at his sides. But his torso shades into a strangely strong, thick neck, and then into the head of a lion. This lion man, crafted 40,000 years ago, comes from a world that exists only in our imagination. Yet he is here, and his pricked up ears are listening to us, his eyes watching us. Who or what the lion man was, we shall never know. But the answer mattered enough that a small community living on the edge of subsistence, haunted by what lurked outside their cave, mammoths, lions, let somebody spend 400 precious hours carving this figure, carving out a story that was told by generation after generation around their fire, so that the lion man's torso became smooth as he was passed between them. These people possessed something precious, a shared story, which showed each person their deep connection to one another, to the dead and the as yet unborn, and gave them a place in this world and the worlds beyond. That story, whatever it was, ended up buried in fragments. But tens of thousands of years later, here we are, as much in need as they were of a shared story that pieces us all together and shows us the stake that we have in one another's lives, helping us to face together whatever lurks outside the cave.